by default WordPress does not have any good admin search option. What I mean by that is that if you log in, there is nothing you can search. But if you have lots of content in your site, then finding something can be a bit cumbersome. You have to navigate under the post and search for the posts or pages and so on. Therefore, today I'm going to show you how, how to supercharge your WordPress admin search. For example, if I'm going to search for blog, it will show me the page. If I search for some kind of plugin, for example, Kubely, it will show me the settings. It will search throughout the images, attachments, posts, pages, and so on. So, if you're interested, then jump in and it will take only a couple of minutes. Now, in order to get this thing going, go to the plugins and add new. Now search for Jarvis. Install and activate it. And there is nothing to configure. The search icon appears here. You can activate the search by clicking on the search icon or use the keyboard shortcut and it's uh, pressing the slash key. So let's take a look at what can we search here. Let's search, search for sample page. And there it is. If I click on it, it opens up. Now let's search for lorem ipsum. Yes, there is a result. It's a post. And it opens up again. What else can we search? Permalinks. If I hover under the TI wishlist, there is a style options. Let's see whether we can search this one here. Yes, we can. We can also search throughout the WooCommerce products and categories. For example, let's search for a t-shirt. There it is. Recent product, v-neck, t-shirt and attachments and some other products here. Or we can search the category t-shirt. There it is, product category. Unfortunately, the Jarvis does not search from the WooCommerce orders. For example, if I search for mini mouse, it will not find anything. But if I search the order ID, then it finds something. For example, 812, it will open up the order. Searching throughout the orders is something I would like to see in the future to be added, but Meanwhile, you should know that it does not work like this. Also, it does not search uh, WooCommerce product SKUs. Now let's test whether it slows down the backend or frontend. At the moment, I have a Jarvis activated and I have a Chrome extension called Performance Analyzer. It's up here. Now let's go to the installed plugins. And let's take a look at the Performance Analyzer. It says that this page loads 112 requests and the loading time is approximately 1.2 seconds. I'm going to close it down and deactivate Jarvis. Refresh a couple of times to clear the cache. And now let's see what happened. And as you see, now it has 110 requests and the loading time is basically the same. That means that Jarvis adds two requests to do the site. But let's see how does the front end work because sometimes some plugins, even though they are working on the back end, if the quality is bad, then they load the scripts or files on the front end also. Let's see whether Jarvis does that. So at the moment Jarvis is deactivated. I'm gonna refresh the page and see what happened here. 64 requests. A bit under the one second is a loading time. Now let's activate the Jarvis. Refresh a couple of times. Open it up. There is no request added and the loading time is basically the same. So yeah, it loads a couple of requests in the back end, but, it, but it's not slowing down your site. So, as you saw, really good plugin, search throughout the pages, posts and so on, works really fast and it's really helpful. And if the productivity is important for you, then I would suggest you to use this plugin. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up.
subscribe to this channel and you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials. Meanwhile, before you go, take a look at the next video. It's also full of useful content. And if you have any questions, then let me know in the comments. Otherwise, take care.